What's up YouTube, Forex Fargo checking in. It's currently, I don't know if you can see that, it's 2 a.m., right, right? It's 2 a.m. in the morning. It's kind of like right before London session, excuse the shadow, you know what I mean? Um, however, I just wanted to share with everyone, this is pretty much how I'm able to identify strong market levels. Uh, the video kind of applies to intraday traders, uh, swing traders, you know, and scalpers, if you are to scale down to kind of like, you know, the micro, um, I just prefer to use the macro. So overall, uh, hopefully you learned something, but before you even dig in, like, comment, share, subscribe, you know, thank you for the supporters. We on our way to 300, uh, 300 subs. So, uh, let's get it, baby. Tune in. What's going on everyone? Forex Fargo checking in. Um, I just wanted to briefly share this with everyone on YouTube. It may be basic uh, before I even dive into this. You know, once again, I am an intraday swing trader. Um, you know, so I'm looking for, you know, positions that are netting me, you know, anywhere between 50 to 200 pips on positions. Doesn't mean that I don't end up with scout positions. However, I just wanted to share pretty much how I'm able to identify strong market levels and, you know, pretty much what helps me catch pips. Uh, so, you know, get out your pen and paper, but pretty much it's going to probably be like a five minute video. Uh, overall, I mainly use a macro uh, eye, so meaning I always use a higher time frame, right, to identify. Uh, secondly, I mark levels that are most noticeable, most apparent to the naked eye, right? So I'm not forcing anything. You know, if it doesn't make sense, it doesn't make sense. I'm looking for levels that's been tested, you know, two, three times or whatever. Um, and it doesn't have to be any, any anything more specific than that, right? Uh, also, like I said, moving on to, you know, number three, I pretty much like using monthly and weekly levels, um, you know, to market strong, uh, strong demand or supply zones or, you know, support and resistance levels, depending on how you guys trade, you know, I use either or. Sometimes I use a combination of both to, you know, kind of mark, you know, uh, my supply and demand zones where I want to trade out of and, you know, support resistance levels, just understanding maybe kind of like when to exit trade, so on and so forth, right? Uh, then depending on your, depending on your trading st uh, style, you must scale down to like a daily or four hour, you know, sometimes even down to like a two hour, one hour, you know, for the scalpers out there, they're on a 30 minute, you know, 15 minute, five minute, sometimes one minute. You know, if you have trading view, you can even go down to like, I think like 15 second, uh, five second intervals, right? So, you know, and then lastly, which is more important, and this is probably why you guys are not having, you know, a lot of success in your trading is because you're not actually planning your trade, right? So, you know, uh, without even diving into that, it's just important to, you know, plan your trade because without proper preparation, you know, how are you going to prevent, you know, terrible performance, right? Uh, so wait with patience, strike like a cobra, and make sure that you trade your fucking plan, right? Now, diving into this video, okay? So what I have now is just the Australian dollar versus the, you know, United States dollar. And, you know, starting off with our monthly levels, right? You know, what is it that we want to do? Well, first thing that I'd like to do, and this once again may seem basic for people, but you know, I'm able to catch pips and I'm able to, you know, be, be profitable. So at the end of the day, if it works for me, it may work for someone else. And then if it isn't broke, don't fix it. So there are people, many of people that trade like this and, you know, don't let it go over your fucking head because it, it won't. Um, it will, and then, you know, you'll be upset, right? Uh, so what we're going to do here, we can look, we can see that this is a level that was reached, kind of peaked at the uh, at the height of August, right? So, you know, in August of 2020, uh, we, what we would do here, we would write, you know, August resistance level, right? Keep it basic, put it over here. Down at the bottom, what we do have is, you know, we have July uh, and then August, right? So, you know, we would do this. However, because we are now, you know, this is July and August, we're now, you know, in uh, October and October is closing, we'd bust down to a weekly time frame, right? So this same level that we just drew on our, um, on our weekly time frame, now, actually on our monthly time frame, we can now be seen as a weekly, right? So we can actually write a couple things, June. So we could write June slash August support as well. Also, this is a daily level, right? And I'll explain that when we dive deeper, right? So one, if you're looking into this trade, you have three strong confluences 
just based off the fact that once again we're looking at this from a higher time frame um and if you've actually had the chance to look at my previous video which was the weekly webinar i've actually you know sent this as a uh as a signal right you know pretty much buying around here uh now what we're going to do is once again we're looking at this from a weekly level working our way down from macro to micro all right we can see that on a weekly level look at this all right so if we're looking at how a w pattern you know lines up right now we stopped right here right but now that we've had you know we're probably going to get a one hour candle close you know so once you get the one hour candle close you have like a small you know break and then a retest of this level because this is you know a not only a june august support level but also a daily level right so then you know we'll probably push back up toward our resistance level i'm sorry So pretty much I want to delete that, you know, so you pretty much understand that I was identifying the W pattern, right? So now that we've identified that on a daily level, right? Let's see what we're looking at on a four hour level, on a four hour time frame. okay? So on this four hour time frame, right? We can see that uh, price has been flirting. Literally, price has been flirting just from the start of this week, I believe uh october 25th right so the start of this week we've been flirting pretty much like 30 pips from 71 all the way up to this you know 71 4 400 right and that's been you know sunday monday tuesday now that we're in wednesday right we're going to see some momentum and this is what we're seeing in the market so we're seeing some momentum in the market right so a safe you know safe thing um and way that i would enter this and this is once again this is pretty much how i am you know consider myself a swing trader intraday trader so on and so forth right so we can see once again this is on a four hour level we can see that we'll probably have some resistance around you know the 71 uh 71 800 uh 71 8 400 level right so this is what we'll do you know we'll do that you know this is uh october 14th i believe i don't know it was a thursday but this is you know we'll call this daily resistance level right put this in lowercase capital and what we also can do is if we'd like to, we can draw a, it's a zone around this. And you know what I mean? Everyone's zone's gonna be different. They're not gonna be perfect. We'll get into another video on how, you know, to draw zones is actual proximal and dismal line, you know, depending on uh, the, the candle closure and um, the, the, the wick and everything like that. So regardless, uh, here we are moving. Um, now this is on the four hour time frame, right? So on the two hour time frame, you know, what you would do once again, depending on how everyone uh trades, you know, I like to wait for a four hour candle closures, two hour candle closures, right? But if we are to drop down on a 15 minute candle, right, it's hard to see, but down here, you know where this eclipse is, right? You've actually had one. You've had this happen. Sorry. Oops. One time, two times, three times. So from the beginning of the week, right? From the beginning of the week, October 25th, right? So price opened up, you know what I mean? We hit this resistance level, which is daily resistance. Price failed to break through. We hit this daily resistance level again. Price failed to break through. Then we hit this daily resistance uh, level again, right? However, we finally broke above this. So this was a one, two, three triple top at this daily resistance level. However, on the macro scale, you may have missed this overall because unless you drop down to the monthly time frame, right? You would have missed the fact that, sorry about this. You would have missed the fact that this was a level that uh, June actually uh, closed in in July, right? So that was, I think, that's like second quarter somewhere, something like that, right? So it's just important to you know understand where uh, to you know place your trades. Uh, now another thing, right? So going back to drawing that path, okay. So just looking at it from overall, this high, this you know from the seventy three area, right? We've got a one, two, three, and we have a potential. You know, what could be a potential um a w pattern right so right now like i said we're beginning this level right here and then you know we're just looking to ride to the next to the next zone to the next zone right once we break that zone 
we would be looking and scaling down to like, you know, a one hour time frame, right? So we'll be scaling down to a one hour time frame to see how price is reacting. Obviously, if we don't break right past this, you know, expect some resistance. However, we know what we're looking for, right? So because, you know, you guys have noticed and, and seen that uh, I send signals and everything like that. So a signal, just an example of a signal on how I would enter the trade and hopefully this benefits you all. Right. So this is how I would enter the trade, right? So we do one of two ways. I'd be like, I'd send a signal like buy Aussie 171, <clears throat> you know, 535, whatever current price is. Stop loss would be like, you know, 20 pips or whatever. So the stop loss would be at uh, stop loss at zero, 71, you know. 335, right? You know, so our TP that we're shooting for, our TP1, if we're looking for a two to one risk reward. So if we're risking 20 pips, we're looking for 40 pips, right? Uh, and this literally would get us 40 pips, 40 pips one, you know, and then 20 pips lost, right? All right. So pretty much this is a signal, you know, an, an example of how I would enter a trade, right? So I would pretty much map out from the fact that I'd scale this down a little bit. So I'd map out from the fact that, you know, here we go. So we'd look at something more like, oh, this 55 would be up here. That's 30 pips. I'm sorry, wow, math is terrible. I'm like, why is that so wrong? Yeah, so we'd probably be looking for somewhere at the top of the zone, right? Uh, so I'm like that, and then like that. You guys get it. It's close enough. You know what I mean. So 1942, whatever. You know what I mean. Uh, two to one, close enough. So yes, this would be an example of how pretty much how I would enter a trade. Um, and this is more of a of a this is more of a scalp to me. I understand 40. You know, this is kind of an intraday trade. However, uh, I like sometimes I hold trades for 48, 72 hours, which. You know, it's not the bigger the risk, the bigger the reward. Sometimes you have to let your trades actually gather the momentum and understand when the, you know, best trading days are. So, you know, Forex Fargo checking out. But what I will tell you is that, like, if you practice your patience and you do mark your levels up and, you know, as basic as this chart work may seem, you know, you'll really be able to understand and identify, even if you drop down to a line chart, you know, you can just see how fluid the market is, right? So Forex Fargo checking out. Hopefully you guys join us, like, share, comment, subscribe, and I'll check you in the next banger.